Hello, we're fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed today, uh, I will be changing the bottom heating element on this oven. Uh, this is uh, Conigliano, I don't know, some uh, Italian uh, oven. It's not very good really, but uh, to make the things even worse, the bottom uh, the bottom heating element it's uh, it's gone so I'll just put this on the tripod so what do you need this one cannot be seen from the outside so we need to remove the whole thing you can see nothing so when I switch on on uh, bottom element only on the bottom element and I put it to full power when I check with the with the thermal with the thermometer it's 17 degrees Celsius which is uh, 63 degrees Fahrenheit even after 10 minutes nothing happens so we need to check the element might be a loose connection or might be the element burned this one is being used for a long time I don't know what is the year of manufacturing it doesn't 2008 so it's 13 years old maybe it's burned we need to remove it. First thing we need to do is disconnect it from the power. This specific specific uh, one is connected via a uh, socket on the bottom of this drawer. So I just remove all the, all the stuff. I'll just remove all the stuff. I'll show you where it's connected. Can we see right there? Maybe we can't really see, can we? I don't think we can. What if I... Ah, there we go. So I'll just disconnect it from right there. And... Uh, we'll start taking it out. Okay, now it's connected to the kitchen with two screws right here. Long screws, one, two. Now we just need to pull it out. I will move the camera uh, right here maybe or maybe a bit further yeah like here Now, we can't see, we can't see the heating element, so we need to dismantle it. In order to dismantle it, we need to remove this whole paneling. Let's see. Okay, let's take this out. I was thinking to speed up the video, but that's uh, just move it forward if you want. I'm not gonna stop it. Hmm. What do we need? A small screwdriver. I'm just gonna grab one. 
I got the screwdriver, let's put the, let's put the camera a bit closer. Those, these self tapping screws are real pain. I really, I really don't like them. No, it's in, it's in for the manufacturer. Okay. I'll just go on the other side and uh, and do the same. Can we take this one out? Okay. Okay. One more. I just need to go and swap my battery. Okay, I got the fresh, fresh battery now. Okay, lovely job. A few more on the bottom. Okay, let's zoom out and let's see how I'm going to something I don't think so Okay, now let's see, this one is loose, maybe when I touch it with the, with the screwdriver, I don't know, let's see, blue one on the left, ah, bad, red one on the right, okay, we'll need to, we'll do that later. Let's put this to one side. Let's take the camera. 
And now what we got is both terminals on this bottom heating element and we have a few terminals here on the top element as well right there on the top element there on the bottom element let's take a multimeter okay so I got the multimeter let's see what it's measuring on the terminals Resistance, okay. Can you see it? I think it can. Maybe not. Twelve ohms. I think twelve ohms is exactly what we need. Actually, let's see what is measuring on the top ones. I'll measure between this terminal and actually. Fifty three, fifty three, twenty six, get twenty six. The button. Oh, right. I think that's absolutely correct. Twelve. I just stop for a second to calculate the power of that uh, of that heating element. So on 12 ohms, it works out around uh, 4 kilowatts, which I think is a lot. I'm not sure that uh, that's the correct power rating. I'm not sure. So another test we need to make is uh, to test for continuity between the heating element and uh, thing here we can see we have uh, around 13 mega ohms which is quite high let's see if we remove the connections let's see what what is a uh, why so stick this tripod let's see what we got now here 1.7 kW We need to push something See that? There shouldn't be no reading at all. Like here, look now. I think this one is shorted to ground. When I remove them, just look on this side. Can you see? Nothing. Or oh, none of them. Can't see, sorry. There we are. Now I'm gonna touch the elements on the bottom one. My gums. 
kilowatts is bad. That's why this one is not working because it's transferring the power. It's good that he didn't kill someone. Okay. I'll need to pull it off. It really shouldn't be no continuity between between the heating element and the outside. So let's see how I can pull this one out. easy now you can see the problem straight away okay give me a second right there that's where it blow up okay so I'll go and find another heating element that is uh, close to this one or exactly like it uh, and we'll get it replaced okay so I bought the new heating element very cheap actually it costs only five euros six seven dollars I wanted to put a better one inside but, uh, but I couldn't okay so that's the old one Just give it a little wipe, a little bit of chemical. Durable. Definitely not exact much. Okay, I'll just put the other one with the gun, it's a lot more easier. Okay. 
So I got the heater in. I'm gonna put the camera a bit down. It doesn't matter the black and the red, which side you put there. It's heating element, just put the yellow one in the middle. Let's make sure we do that first. Okay. Then we have the red one on this side, the black one on this side, they're nice and tight. You want you just want nice and tight fit. Okay. Here. Now this one is loose on that side. Okay, let's let's put them one more time. want the tray to be nicely fitted inside the oven otherwise we might end up with some vibrations let's see I think that's it bracket holding it I don't think it makes any difference anyway got this pins to free insulation and then again this is the grounding wire okay and then black and black and red on each side Insulating rubber on top of them. Okay. I'll still check just to show you. If you remember, we have the 1700 kilo ohms between. Now it's zero. There, no, it's not zero. It's open. There is none continuity between the heating element and the surface of the oven. Nothing. Let's see here. Okay, and it's good ground. Okay. Now I can put this insulation nicely above everything here okay now I'll speed up the whole video that was everything now I'll put the old heating element for recycling I'll speed up the video we'll put the oven and we'll give it a test
Now, when the oven is fully assembled, let's, uh, let's try. Is the fan working? Yes. Now, let's set it up to 240 degrees, 22 degrees on the bottom, 21 even, and 22 on the top. Let's wait a little bit and let's see. Uh, let's see how much time it's gonna need to heat up to 180 degrees. So 40 10 to 7 and we'll see when the light is gonna go off. Okay, so exactly 10 minutes later. We had the uh, Yiki. Exactly 10 minutes later, we had the oven uh, going straight to 180 degrees. That was like 5 6 minutes ago. And now, actually, 3 minutes ago, it was exactly 7. 3 minutes ago, uh, I opened it. It had a little bit of smoke coming out, so I had to put the absorber on because of the, all the oils that have uh, been on the bottom of the oven without uh, burning up. So yeah, that's uh, fully fixed. Five, five euros problem, don't buy another one. Instead of this from going into the landfill, you can reuse it and uh, be happy with it for a long time after. I hope the video is being helpful today. Like and subscribe if you like it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.